Hey everybody, Matt here for Imagine Then Make. In today's video, let's drill a hole in a tennis ball. So let me take a second and explain why I want to drill a hole in a tennis ball. So lately I've been experimenting with a couple of different ways to try and get some more light on my scroll saw. So what I wound up doing is just tie wrapping some wooden, long wooden stakes to the underside of this metal shelf. So I got a stake there and a stake there. And then as you can see, I've just got some clamp lights secured to the stakes. And I've got some nice bright LED bulbs in the lamps and that really sheds a lot of light on the scroll saw. So as you saw in the picture, these two lamps really throw a lot of light on the scroll saw, which is great, but I hope you can see my problem. It's only a matter of time before I whack my head against this stick which is not going to be a good day. So that's why I need to drill a hole in a tennis ball. So to get the tennis balls, I just went down to my local Walmart and for very little money, I don't remember exactly how much, I think it was less than 20 bucks though. It might even have been less than 10, but uh, I'm not sure, I don't remember. I was able to get this bag of tennis balls.
so I think these are going to work out really well. I don't think I can hurt myself by banging into them accidentally, of course. So mission accomplished. So the next time you're in your shop and you see something sticking out, particularly at eye level or maybe at shin level, and you just know it's a matter of time before you bump into it or walk into it and likely hurt yourself, why not think about drilling a hole in a tennis ball? Bye.